Hello everybody, Chad Shoop here, and I think it's time to go bottom fishing. Don't worry, this is still in my bank it or take it segment today. We're going to be talking about just one stock, that's Zoom Video Communications, so you can see how the theme of bottom fishing is really going to fit in. But first, before we get into the stock and what we're going to be looking at for that company, I want to just show you a chart that really, I mean, I've seen this kind of been playing out, but this kind of opened my eyes when I saw it. It was actually just a, a parody account on Twitter talking about uh, crypto and it's saying that they can't find these stocks in crypto but take a look these are some of the returns from real real stocks these are companies that trade on the US stock market that have physical businesses for the most part that are doing some pretty decent uh, stuff here as we go through the list I mean some are definitely small caps less heard of companies but we also get into well Peloton we know the issues they had but Redfin they're completely disrupting the real estate market and it's going to be a company that you know long term you definitely want exposure to, and look, it's down 78% from its all-time highs. That's a massive crash for the stock. And as we go through this, I mean, you got Roku down 78%. A Zoom on, is on here, ZM. It says it's down 71% at the time of this chart, but it's down about 78% from the all-time highs at this point today when we're looking at it. Uh, Pin, that's a gambling company, down 67%. I mean, these this list is pretty massive, and it's composed of some companies that really you wouldn't have expected to be down this much block or the ticker sq for square down 66 percent these are some insane drops and folks all i gotta say is that this means that it's time to go bottom fishing it doesn't mean that we've hit the rock bottom for the stock market for the crash because this if this weakness kind of overflows we've already seen a little correction in the sp 500 but nothing like these stocks so if some of this weakness starts to carry into the the rest of the market, we can still see another uh, drop in some of these companies as well. But you know, seeing that these stocks like Redfin is down 78%, Zoom down 78%, um, PayPal down 66%, just a, a great list here that you can go through, find your favorites on, at least put them on your list uh, to start jumping into, and then add some parameters from there to to keep an eye on these companies to look for opportunities, just to start at building your portfolio with these kinds of companies. Not all of these. Are companies that are going to bounce back they're down 70 to 80 percent some 90 percent already they can fall another 90 percent so i'm not saying that the bottom is in for all of these companies but i am saying that it's a great time to start your bottom fishing to have your list to start looking at these companies and jumping into them today's the time now the company that we're going to be looking at today zoom video communications really took off during the pandemic i mean it was on the, it was on a tear before the pandemic and then when everybody shut down we all went remote Zoom, the video communications platform that everybody started to use to, to interact to, to with the rest of their company, to talk to employees and to get on uh, conference calls and all that, they're using Zoom. And then this company took off. It blew up, shot higher, but it peaked back in 2020. So that was about a year um, or so ago. Since then, it's just been a steady downward slide, down over 75% in just a, a little over a year. I mean, another massive crash for a company that and real purposes is doing some big things it's going to be around this we know that this um, zoom conferencing is not going away companies are just looking at more ways to incorporate it even more now that they're trying to do a hybrid work model and that sort of thing so we're nowhere near back to a normal work environment zoom is going to continue to be a top stock in this environment in this economy and yet the stock's down 78 percent from where it peaked i mean this is a great opportunity to be looking at these companies so you I already have a kind of a glimpse that zoom video communications is going to be on my bank it list for today but i'm giving that away now but once we get into here there's going to be another chart that i think is going to blow you away once we pull it up so let's get in to zoom video communications our bank it or tank it stock for today and i hope that you caught my a live video stream we did a quick takes live that was our first time it was pretty awesome we did it the other week um, through the True Options Masters YouTube channel. So I hope that you were able to check that out, jump on the live stream. That's where we're doing some of our quick takes now. You throw in some stocks in real time and we pull up the charts, pull up the, some unusual options activity just to take a look at how this, how things are going for those companies at the time and throw them on my bank it list, which means I'm expecting to head higher or my tank it list, which are companies that I expect to head lower. So I hope that you were able to catch that video in real time. If not, we have a recording for it. You can always jump in there and watch it later. But in real time is the best way to experience that. So you want to subscribe to the True Options Master channel. You want to subscribe to my channel below so because I'm going to continue to produce more video content on my channel um, that's going to build on what we're doing over there at True Options Master. So a lot going on on our YouTube channels. Just make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notified so that way you can stay up to date with all the content 
that we're producing. So let's dive into Zoom today. And we're going to start with some of our key stats. Now, it's been a while since we've kind of done one of these one stock wonders where we're just looking at one company. So if you remember, we like to look at the total revenue in net income. That's the two key stats that we want to take apart here as we look at this company. And for Zoom video communications, you can see we go back to 2018. We have the actual results up to 2021, October 31st. Then we go into estimated results. So those are pretty close there. The October 31st, 2021 and January 31st, not much is changing. But then we go into the expectations for 2023 and 2024. I can see there's a little dip up here on the net income. That's the line graph that we have. A little dip in 2023, but it comes back in 2024. So that was all fine. And we had a nice steady trend higher here in revenue. I mean, it got the big jump in 2021. That was from the pandemic. That's when everybody kind of flooded in. But you can see analysts are not expecting that to drop off. They're expecting their revenue to continue to grow a nice steady bump in 2023 and 2024. So that's great to see. So here from our key stats, this is exactly what we want to see from any company, really. I mean, their bottom line, they're spending more money. So maybe they expect that to dip. But for the most part, their revenues steadily climbing higher from here. So this is a nice chart to look at for the key stats. Now let's take a look at some of their quick comps. This is just comparing, basically we're gonna look at their market cap here, the revenues over the last three years and net income over the last three years to some of their key competitors like Ring Central, DocuSign, Workday. DocuSign is another company that was on that list that is getting totally obliterated. So these are companies that you still wanna have on your radar. They're the competitors in kind of this virtual space, virtual meeting space for companies and ways to kind of make companies work even better. You can see their market cap, Zoom videos right around the middle of these, but the one that really blows it up is Salesforce. They do a lot more than just video communications there. They're just kind of in the background doing a lot of things to help companies grow. Um, but other than that, Zoom video is a pretty large company relative to, the, to this list. You can see Ring, DocuSign, all smaller, Citrix, Splunk, smaller companies, then Zoom video communications. And for their revenues, the three-year compound average rate at revenue growth rate is phenomenal, 27% on the average. We don't even have a number here for Zoom, but we just saw the big jump that they had in 2021. It's probably just waiting for that extra quarter here to get kicked in to where they'll produce a three-year average growth rate for that. But it's going to be right in line with all the rest of these, 20, 30, 40% growth over the three years on average. So that's not one year. That's on average over three years spread out. That's 40% a year, basically, that we're talking about growth rates. The net income, we saw that had to jump too, but these don't really report net income because a lot of them are losing money. And if they are making money, then they're relatively new companies um, at doing that. So they're not showing profits on net income yet. So not much to take away from there. But overall, the revenue, again, that's killer. That's a key driver in what we're seeing. And that'll be one thing that when you, if you're looking to bottom fish on some of these stocks, the thing that you want to be paying attention to is the revenue drivers is the money still flowing into these companies the earnings i mean look amazon lost money for for decades at a time and it didn't face the stock so these companies can lose money on the net income side it's okay because they are smaller cap companies but as long as that revenue is coming in as long as people they still have the users they're still seeing the strong demand for their products then that's going to be okay and that's going to really help lift the company so let's let's pull up one more quick comps chart that i like to take a look at and this really gets into the heart of the sentiment for the stock we're still using the same comparable companies um, but we look at the price to earnings ratio zooms down to 33 times earnings the mean is 62 again salesforce got a big uh multiple there and the only two other companies have it and this is because they have negative earnings growth so they don't have a correct price to earnings ratio but short interest this is what you know this is what blew up gamestop so this is what people have been keeping a closer eye on lately and Zoom video is down to 3.5% now. So they already rode the whole way down. This is something you want to look at when companies are really rising higher. And you can also just see some of the sentiment even when they are beaten down. Um, but for Zoom video communications at 3.5%, it's under the mean for these. So there's nothing to be worried about here on the short interest. This is not a company that's being highly shorted at this time, which kind of plays right in line with our bottom fishing idea here. That is time to jump in and start adding some of these companies to your list. And then the average broker recommendation, that's a two out of five with one being a strong buy and five being a strong sell. So it's at an outperform rating overall here for the company. I mean, I don't think you could ask for much more. A company that's been beaten down this much, 
but nothing really changing on their fundamentals, nothing really changing on their broker recommendations. We know that the short interest has kind of moved out of the way. The price to earnings ratios kind of came in um, to a realistic level. And I think just now is a great time as we look at the stock overall to start taking these companies seriously. So now to really bring that full circle though, my main thing that I want to look at is the price chart. So we're going to pull up the price chart for Zoom video communications today and see if it really feeds in line with my, you know, seeing the bottom fishing, seeing the stock, are we catching a falling knife? What's really going on with this company? So here's the chart. We see, this just goes back to its IPO, a nice little run up, had a dip heading into th there th throughout 2019. Then it started to run higher heading into the pandemic. Now this was just a, a normal bullish environment for the stock because more people were adapting and using Zoom and it was becoming a real thing. Then the pandemic hit and we it doesn't even phase the stock there in March. Hardly any of a pullback actually started to run higher because people realized that this was going to be the number one form of communication. Had some volatile moves since then, but essentially just shot off and broke out to the upside, surging, running up to $588 a share here. That was the high on October 19th, 2020. Massive shot higher, but from there, this is the 78% drop. We can do a price from the highs, look at the price return all the way down to where we are trading at today, 77.9%. 78 percent we'll call it drop over that time period and this is the crash that we're talking about this is from the highs to today and it's a massive crash but look this is what starts to blow me away when i look at this when we go back we think about march 2020 i mean that was a period where there's a lot of companies falling 60 70 80 percent in just a matter of months just a, just a matter of weeks really it was a quick crash for the market and then a quick rebound so what we've been seeing is a lot of these stocks that really took off have been rolling over for basically the last 12 months or so. It's just been kind of a, a steady beat down on these companies, not a big drop, not like the pandemic crash for the stock market, just a beat down here over, over a period of about 12 months. And eventually it's going to just bottom out on these stocks. There's going to be a bottom. And now when we look at a company like Zoom, which we know how good and how strong of demand this pandemic has been for going virtual and using these, incorporating them into businesses and every, pretty much every way of life. And yet here we are where we are trading at. We are back down to right around where this thing was trading at back in March, 2020. So that was basically the pre pandemic levels, which for zoom meant a lot because this thing shot up since then. It didn't really dip, but we're back to that level. We're back this whole two year period. Almost is virtually gone. It's just, it's wiped out a massive run higher. I mean, that's an insane rally that we saw. And then everybody was just buying hand over fist. This was back when, you know, stocks only go up. Everybody was jumping in, jumping in, jumping in. And then we got obliterated. I mean, these people that were following financial Twitter, that sort of thing, they're just getting crushed in these stocks, these small to mid cap names. They're the ones that really got hit the hardest. And it's not all small cap stocks because the IWM hasn't moved that much, too much. The Russell 2000, it's in a correction, but it's not in a crash like these. So these stocks are absolutely getting crushed and and that's tough. That's tough to be in. That's tough to ride out. So if I'm talking to you and you bought at the top and that uptick, there's somebody that bought there, somebody bought all the way down on this thing. So I know that it's tough to hang on this long and it, I'm not saying that it's going to come right back up to these new highs. This is not what we're looking at for Zoom to do is just to bounce right back up and be back up to $400 a share in weeks. I don't think that's going to happen, but I do think that companies like Zoom Video Communications. This is just a great example. It was a stock that somebody recommended for me to take a look at. And this company now, where we're sitting at, back down to pre-pandemic levels, at, with how good things are going for the company, the revenue growth is still strong. This has got to be a company that I like adding exposure to here, down around this price range, anywhere you can get it. It might dip further from here. That's okay. It might go back under 100 bucks. Just buy it for the long term and hold it. This is kind of a rare bank it a tank it because we usually just talk months. But right now, the first few months is pretty volatile. We're still talking about Russia and Ukraine and trying to figure out what's going on there. Um, you know, overall, I'm still bullish on the market. And I'm really bullish because we're seeing things like this play out where we have solid companies getting obliterated because they were ran too high, too high, too fast. Now they oversold too, too low, too fast. And then they're going to start to come back up and kind of settle up um, and go up from there. I just think now's a great time to add exposure to these companies, to Zoom video communications. It's a bank it stock on our list today. Again, these are these are some crazy times. So whether it goes up over the next couple of months or over the next couple of years, I do expect Zoom to be headed higher 
from this point on his price chart here when we're talking about it a year from now. I think it's going to be higher than where it is today. Even if we go through some more weakness in the market, that's going to be okay. Because when we look at the chart, there really is no key levels to watch. There's no key indicators right now telling us to buy it. This is just a gut feeling of seeing this stock down 78% down to the pre-pandemic levels after a massive run higher and saying, you know what? This is a great time to go bottom fishing. I'm looking for this thing to turn around higher and I understand, I'm assuming all the risk, I would understand that this thing can drop another 50% from here, you know, down to $60 a share. It can still drop, don't, don't get me wrong. These things can still fall a significant amount further from where they are today. So I'm not trying to say that this is just straight up to the moon from here, no, but it's gonna be a steady grind higher once this thing bottoms and starts to turn higher, and I think that Zoom Video Communications is a great company to be looking at right now. So that was a bank hit stock on our list today. Thank you all for tuning in. Again, don't forget to catch my Quick Takes Live over at True Options Master. We're gonna be doing those every, every every month or so, so make sure you're subscribed so that way you don't miss out on those and subscribe to my channel below so you don't miss out on any more of our insights. We'll have more coming to you here in the coming weeks. So that's all for today. Until next time, I'm Chad Shoop.